Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can execute your test cases, test step, test suite from the SOAP UI interface. Okay, so till now what we have seen is we have seen um, executing your uh, test steps. Basically, you can um, say for example, you can create, you can run your single um, request so to run a single request you can just directly go to the test step and uh, open the request uh, that i have opened so from test step go to say for example post and you can just execute the request through the icon here okay so this we have seen a lot many times we have also seen that you can um, also run the whole test case through just double click on the test case so for example tc2 i have double click and then you can directly click on this run this test case icon the green uh, triangle icon and it will run all the test steps that are available in this particular test case now a couple of things uh, when you are uh, running your test case through um, through the interface is basically you can go to this um, steps uh, uh, sets options okay so um, the options here these are the settings test case options and settings where you can specify different options so for example here you can see um, that about on error so about test if an error occurs basically what this means is in case any of this um, step fails in this particular uh, test case then the test case will abort if this particular option is checked if you don't want to abort the test case and say for example you want to keep executing your test case or the test steps all the test steps in this particular test case then you uncheck this okay and the next one is fail test case if it has failed test steps so basically that's checked which means that if any of the test step in this particular test case which is um, which has four test steps fails then the whole test case will be marked as failed so that uh, that is basically you can check and uncheck that as well okay then you have you know like test case timeout if you want to specify the timeout that after how much time the test case should abort then you can specify the time here as well so these are some of the test case options when executing your test case in soap ui from gui now if you want to execute the whole test suite okay which contains multiple test cases so for example here in this test suite end-to-end -end test case demo i have two test cases tc1 and tc2 you just double click on the test suite and this will open the window here and now you can see that you have the option you have two test cases that are displayed here tc1 and tc2 and then there is a option to create a new test case in this test with test suite as well directly from this interface if you click on this little icon here it will open new test case window uh, or pop up and then you can specify new test case and uh, get your test case done from here i'll cancel this the other option here you can see is the um, sequential execution and the parallel execution these two options are really important so if you select this sequential execution what will happen is test case one will run first once that particular test case is run successfully then test case two will start executing if you select the other option which is run in parallel then both the test cases will start executing in parallel at the same time so if i select parallel if i select sequential let's execute and see how the execution will happen if i click on this execute button you can see test case one is running at the moment once the test case one will be finished then test case two will start executing okay and at the top you can see the overall status of this particular test suite so you can see test case one finished then test case two started and the overall status of this particular test suite changed to finished now if i select the other option that is te run test case in parallel you will see both these options or both these test cases will run parallelly at the same time let's run this and now you can see tc1 is running and tc2 also started running at the same time so both the test cases ran in parallel because we selected the parallel execution for this run okay now 
this little icon here is basically to cancel the ongoing test run so once you execute the run this turns red and you can cancel the test run if you want to cancel the test run in between so that's how you will run your uh, test case or your test suite the test cases in your test suite so we have seen you can run how you can run test cases um, test case level and then how you can run the single request or the test suite the whole test suite now the other option that you need to know is you can go to file uh, sorry you can go to project and go to launch test runner to launch the uh, test runner and can run test cases in all your test suites okay so at the moment you can see that test suite is selected because i have launched test runner by selecting this test suite but you can change it to the particular um, uh, project so let me close this if, if i select all here that means all the test suite in this particular asana demo test project will get executed and among these test suite all the test cases will get executed as well so from here you can select a particular um, test suite or all the test suites that are present in this particular demo uh, asana demo test then there are a couple of other options uh, here you can uh, use uh, ignore error so if you do not stop if error occurs so if you check this then what will happen is it will continue the execution will continue even if there are some test cases that are failing which is a good um, way to uh, make sure that uh, your other test cases which are not dependent on the failing test cases still get executed so you get the actual report by end of the test then if you go to the overrides um, that's you know where you can provide the environment details so for example if you want to execute these this particular uh, test test case in a separate environment you can specify the endpoint right so you can specify the separate endpoint that you have configured and the port then you have the reports so you you can specify the report so for example if you run these test cases it will report the print summary report to the console the next is export results to a J unit style report so if you check this there will be a you can specify the root folder or the folder where you want to save your reports and these reports will get saved there then similarly the other export options for reports are available as well so depending on what reports you want to generate you just select those options provide the root folder uh, location and launch the test runner and it will run and execute your whole test suites in a particular project if you go to the other properties you can define the properties global system properties or project properties that are uh, that will need to be utilized in the test runner and if there are any custom arguments that's another uh, option which is very um, which is not required for uh, the basic runs so reports understanding reports is pretty important and then you know like in the basic you save the project before running these things are pretty important so once you start running your test case if you have checked saves project before running it will save all your changes before it actually runs the test case so that's pretty much all about executing your test step test case test suite and all the test suite in a project using soap ui uh, graphical user interface runner so hope you like the video thank you for watching